Well, today I got my new adapter for uh, the Tesla superchargers, the NAX to CCS1 adapter. And uh, it's exciting for me. I know it may not be too exciting for, for you, but um, this is a game changer for uh, people that have Lucids. Um, because now we have access using this adapter that I ordered from Lucid. Uh, we have access to the uh, Tesla superchargers. And what that means is um, a whole lot less uh, stress, which there isn't too much anyway, but it just eliminates uh, any range anxiety you may have uh, by having the Tesla supercharger stations available uh, to uh, charge at on road trips in the future. I use um, my home charging just about exclusively, but when I am on the road, I do want to have um, the ability to stop and charge more often. Uh, it, it's a time saver to do that. It's a time saver to, uh, to add uh, maybe 20% of your battery to add it when you stop. Um, and it makes it so that uh, you, you don't have to make the stops as long. You make them more frequently, but you, but you make them so they're, they're um, enough time to get out and stretch your legs, maybe make a potty stop and then get back in the car and you're on your way again. So, and that's kind of how I like to road trip. I like to, to um, make more frequent stops and uh, spend less time at each stop than to uh, have to uh, charge for, let's, you know, as an example, there's some places on my road trips that I have to stop and charge up uh, close to 90 to 100% because there's gaps in between the charging stations. And with the, uh, access now to the supercharger stations, it fills those gaps. And with this, I'm not going to be able to charge uh, at the same speed that I can at other charging stations. It's going to be substantially slower, but it's enough to fill the gap. And the way I'll use this is I will make stops um, that I wasn't able to make before, and I'll only put in maybe 10% of my battery, uh, you know, 10, maybe 20 kilowatt hours of of energy into my batteries uh, at a at a tes Tesla charging station, um, and what I'm going to do with this is, I, you know, I'm going to unbox this, and then uh, I'm going to go to a Tesla charging station, which is not too far from here, about 20 miles from here, and we're going to test this thing out. It's a, a version three um, station. Uh, I don't think it's a version 4, I believe it's a version 3 station. So it, it has the older Tesla charging uh, dispensers and we'll probably have to park um, sideways in order to make the cable reach. But that's what I kind of want to test. Now I don't have the new update that's that's I'm waiting for right now that has um, the new features built into it. And part of those new features was the, was the uh, charging station access to the Tesla charge, superchargers. But I don't know that that's needed with now having access. On my Tesla app that I pull up, it shows that, the, that it's available for Lucid now. So I don't know if it requires that new update um, in order to access the superchargers and make them work. I think if I have the adapter, Tesla's ready to go, and I think it's going to work. But um, stick with me during this video because I'm going to uh, continue this video uh, showing, actually plugging this thing in and giving it a test here in the next uh, day or so. We'll get out and do this and we'll see if this works or not. So um, let's get this get this thing unboxed here. I'm going to pause the video for a minute and, and we'll unbox this and then uh, show you what we've got. Okay, so I'm going to unbox this. Take a look at what comes in here. I know a lot of uh, you Lucid owners out there are waiting to get yours, so I'll give you a little preview here for you to look at. And it's surprisingly heavy. Okay, so that's it. So this goes into my car. 
obviously. And the Tesla charging handle, the NAX handle, goes into here and it locks into place. So it seems really well built. Um, looking to see if I can see a manufacturer on this. I don't see anything that's just got the Lucid name information on it. But it's a hefty guy anyway, so I think that they didn't cut any corners on this and safety is everything when you're working with 800 volts. So here it shows, I don't know if you can see that or not, it shows the specifications for it. It's a thousand volt, up to a thousand volt and uh, 500 amps. And it's got a temperature range that is colder than I'll ever see and hotter than I'll ever see. And it is, um, you know, technical information there that doesn't mean much to me. Main thing is that it works. So anyway, we'll um, anxious to give it a try. So I'm going to kill the video here and we'll come back uh, when we get to the charging station, show you what what um, happens when we plug in. And, and again, I don't have the new update. So we'll show you the result in the next video. Well, you know, now I got this out of the box and of course I'm anxious to try it out. I uh, don't need to, but I thought it would be interesting to see if, uh, if I can charge my car now uh, without having the new update that I'm waiting for. Uh, right now, I don't think anybody's re actually received it. It's, this is Saturday night, um, August 2nd. And I don't think anybody has received the update yet. Um, at least not that I've been uh, looking online to kind of see if anybody has, but haven't seen anybody with it. So anyway, I'm anxious to try this thing out. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna run down to the uh, Tesla charging station and we'll give this thing a go and see what uh, see what happens, see if, if it works or not. I, do, I hope it does. Um, and if it doesn't, then I'll make another trip down in a couple of days or whenever I get the next or get the update I'm waiting for on the car. So anyway, let's go. Thanks. Okay, you can see that I'm charging right now. Uh, I'll turn the camera around. I, after a, a missed start, uh, initially plugging it in, I figured out that the sequence, uh, I was off a little bit on that, so I got that fixed up. But anyway, now it's uh, charging. I'm gonna turn the camera on to show you. 
here at the Tesla charging station. And I can also verify that the new 2.80 update that they're going to be extending out this in the next few days here uh, is not needed. I did this through the Tesla app and, um, and I recorded the screen when I was doing that so I can kind of show you the steps I went through. And again, I had a false start and I'll kind of explain what I think I did wrong there first. And a simple thing that I didn't realize um, that I was out of sequence. So it happens in any way. Um, we'll uh, get this thing charged up. I'm just gonna add about 10% to the battery here and I'll kind of let you know how long it took. It's charging at 48 um, kilowatts uh, right now. So it shouldn't take me long to get add 10% to the battery and I'll kind of update you as we go here. Hey, well, I'm back in the office and it was a successful trip. Uh, the Tesla supercharger did exactly what I'd hoped it would do. Um, it's, it um, charged about 48, 47 kilowatts is what uh, the battery was receiving. So that's about uh, what it was supposed to do. Uh, Time-wise, I spent, let's see, I spent uh, 14 minutes charging and I added uh, from the charge it from the dispenser uh, and got charged for 10.8 kilowatt hours of electricity and the total cost of that session was four dollars and 86 cents now th that um, you know the convenience of having that available to me is everything uh, and I think that it's um, a great thing that we have this this uh, new option uh, to charge at the Tesla superchargers so anyway, the, the things that I learned on this is first off, I don't really clear, I'm not quite clear on the sequence, whether you plug in first or using the Tesla app, whether you, uh, you know, select the, the dispenser that you're using first. I, I've got to go back and do that again, um, but I misstepped on it somewhere because it didn't recognize, it said the charger was already in use. So I think what you need to do, and I could be wrong on this, but plug in first and then on the, on the app, then select the dispenser that you're using. Um, I had it all uh, loaded with my credit card, so there was, it's not plug and play. It, it, you have to use the app, Tesla app. At this point, you'll be able to use the Lucid app with the next update coming out. But using the t Tesla app, it was very simple, easy to use. There's um, nothing magical about it. The only thing I did have problems with is when I went to unplug, I had troubles getting the adapter out of the um, out of the Tesla Nax connector and what I didn't realize is right here on the bottom I don't know if you can see that okay but right here on the bottom on the Nax this is the Nax side over here there is a little lever right there that releases it and I wasn't aware of that I kept trying to release things this this releases it from my car and this one over here releases it from the Nax adapter and I didn't see that there and I couldn't figure out why why I couldn't get it in to begin with and why I couldn't get it back out. So you have to 
move this lever um, in order to insert the NAX adapter and you have to uh, use that lever in order to extract it from the from the charging unit. But anyway, it, it boy, solid as a rock. I'm happy with it. I, th I think this is great. And I think that um, I think every, all Lucid owners are going to be happy. And I think anybody who's been using the superchargers, we've all been jealous of that. And I hope that they don't hate us for now showing up there. Uh, the big obstacle right now, of course, is uh, the biggest obstacle is uh, the version 3 chargers don't have a long enough cable and so it's very difficult to find parking without blocking two stalls to do it. Fortunately this place as you can see I was able to back into a spot that was designed for for trailers. Uh, somebody was towing so it, that was open and I grabbed it and it was easy peasy to do it so but um, anyway the, as the version 4 chargers uh, come on board. Uh, not only will they have longer cables, but also the other thing that's going to happen hopefully in the next year or two is that they'll all be running a thousand volt or most of them will be and we'll be able to charge our lucids at, at the kind of speeds that we've gotten used to being able to do. So that that will come. It's just a matter of time before it does. So anyway, well thank you for joining me on this adventure. It was fun, uh, exciting and for me anyway. And I hope that you will uh, come back and join me on my future adventures on Life After 70. So thanks again for joining me. And don't forget to leave comments and don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. So thank you. Bye.